So what inspired you to start Reap? I suppose Reap uh, is something which we decided to start because of the ignorance of the people. They didn't know how to protect themselves and uh, children were easily exposed to mosquitoes, uh, people don't use mosquito nets and mosquito protection. In Florida, for example, there is no dengue or malaria, yet it's teeming with mosquitoes because they have these mosquito screens in their homes. Uh, of course, uh, we see in Africa, they're beginning to have nets and a lot of organizations are sending these nets. But what I'd like people to understand is that how the mosquito life cycle begins. It is upstream in the water and it is a lot of the breeding of mosquitoes and dengue mosquitoes especially is because people don't realize and they are ignorant that they are breeding these mosquitoes themselves. If you look around the house, uh, there's normally lots of rubbish, uh, bottles are just thrown out, plastic bags. These are the sort of places where mosquitoes actually breed. A uh, mosquito can, can breed in even a bottle top. So, um, so if people are just aware of this, then I think it would be help. So REAP actually stands for reduction of the mosquito population, obviously. We'd like to, I think they should be attacked at source. Education is, uh, e is education and awareness. Uh, a is activation. And P is uh, uh, prevention. And, and so we have REAP. Uh, the activation is very important. Uh, we have to take it to the community. Uh, and, and people themselves get, get involved in it. I, I, I seem to recall going to the Philippines a couple of years ago. Uh, at that time, uh, the whole of the Philippines was uh, down with malaria and dengue. And especially I remember the trip up to Isabella province, uh, which is the second largest province in the Philippines. It suffers from a lot of rainfall. And uh, one week after the rainfall, the whole province is teeming with mosquitoes. It has a lot of malaria and dengue. So when uh, we uh, applied the musticide uh, in in this uh, province, uh, hey, you know, it's, it's just amazing, you know, because uh, it, suddenly everyone said, "Wow, the the scourge is gone." So uh, a year later, the governor of Isabella made me the son, noble son of Isabella, which is a great honor for me. Uh, and even in Manila, they regarded me as the the mosquito king, if you like, you know. And uh, so, so in the sense that so, so, so the, the REAP initiative was, was started in the Philippines. I remember some of the slogans like um, uh, Lamok is uh, the Philippine word for Nyamok in Malay, which means mosquito. And we started the phrase Counter-Strike Lamok. And, um, and then we, we uh, recruited people to become uh, dengue warriors and so on. So, so that was how it started. Well, I think if you look at the statistics, in the world, 250 million people suffer from dengue and malaria, and nearly one million people die from this scourge. If we can really reduce this statistic, and I think we can, I mean, look at this mosquito life cycle. You know, one female mosquito, if the eggs are all undisturbed, after two months from one mosquito, you can produce over 90 million mosquitoes from one egg, so, so, so from one mosquito. So, uh, so I think if with larvae siding, if we can kill it up there, bed nets will protect you and all that. But really, I think the scourge needs to be dealt with upstream, okay? And, uh, and I think this is where we need to tackle the problem and disseminate the information teach the people, let them become dengue warrior. Um, if, if, if a REAP develops into a membership, into uh, some sort of movement, uh, join the movement, you know, and, and, and learn all about it and tell your neighbors, tell your friends, uh, uh, through the Facebook, through, through all the uh, modern media. And, and I think this is one meaningful way of spreading the word.